In January 2015, Malaysia was hit by severe flooding. Suji volunteers quickly mobilized to give out aid supplies and cash cards to those affected. A cash for work program was also launched to invite the locals to clean up their own homes. The volunteers also helped build temporary houses for those affected. Before the end of Ramadan, people were able to move into their new homes. In January 2010, a seven magnitude earthquake caused massive devastation in Haiti. In the immediate aftermath, Tsuji volunteers went to give out aid and also organize a food for work program to recruit quake survivors to clean up the disaster areas. Over the past five years, Tsuji volunteers have carried out various aid projects in Haiti. Inspired by their love, many locals have become Tsuji volunteers. In 2015, our kindergarten, which was the fourth school that Tsuji helped rebuild in Haiti, was inaugurated. We wish we can see more children accept receiving education. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Tsuji. In February, a passenger plane carrying many Chinese tourists crashed into a river in Taipei. As rescue teams conducted search efforts in the cold, Tsuji volunteers were also there providing rescuers with hot meals and blankets to keep them warm. To help the victims' families in China get to Taiwan as soon as possible, Tsuji volunteers even pleaded with other passengers to yield their seats to the anxious families. In 2014, the Ebola outbreak erupted in West Africa, with Sierra Leone being the worst hit. In March 2015, members from Healy International Relief Foundation in the U.S. came to Taiwan to sign an MOU with Tsuji to help Sierra Leone together. Is the intrinsic compassion and goodness that both of our foundations feel exist in every person. Tsuji volunteers quickly prepared aid supplies to be shipped to Sierra Leone. We are very happy for all the brothers who showed up here today and all those who have been supporting us. Thank you very much. Namibia, In 2015, Tsuji volunteers went to Namibia for the first time. Altogether, Tsuji now serves seven countries in Africa. We have one family. When we have the love in our heart, somebody needs help, we must give in our hands. In South Africa, the volunteers went to several towns to share Tsuji values and bring aid to the needy. In Lesotho, a volunteer encouraged the locals to give. In Zimbabwe, feeling for those who had to walk a long way to fetch water every day, Tsuji volunteers dug wells in several local communities. Give us water so it's my tabasa. In Mozambique, inspired by Tsuji volunteers, many people saved up coins and pooled their savings to help those worse off than them. In Swaziland, Tsuji volunteers visited the poor and brought rice to them. Although the road was rugged and slippery, the volunteers pressed on resolutely. Wherever Tsuji volunteers in Africa go to serve, they listen to Dharma Master Jungyan's teachings every morning. They also regularly hold gatherings 
to share experiences. The love in their hearts has brought light to the dark corners of Africa. In April, overseas Tsuji volunteers gathered in Taiwan for an annual meeting. All of them vowed to hold on to their convictions. On April 25th, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal, killing more than 8,000 people. The following day, Tsuji members quickly planned their relief effort, and Tsuji hospitals also prepared medical supplies to be sent to Nepal. On April 27th, Tsuji's relief team left for Nepal. Upon arrival, they started surveying disaster areas and visiting quake survivors. After receiving permission to practice medicine in Nepal, Tsuji doctors began to provide medical services on April 30th. At the same time, Tsuji members in Taiwan were busily preparing aid supplies for Nepal. In Nepal, Tsuji doctors not only performed surgery for the injured, but also helped deliver a pair of twins. You and our doctor, so I really want to thank you. Tsuji volunteers in 38 countries and regions took to the streets to fundraise for Nepal. <laughs> In May, Tsuji held an aid distribution for quake survivors in Nepal. Many young local people were inspired to volunteer with Tsuji. We are Tsuji volunteers. Moved by what Tsuji has done, even Nepali entrepreneurs pitched in to help with Tsuji's relief effort. Tsuji is really doing a great job for earthquake victim in Nepal. Apart from helping the quake survivors, the volunteers also visited housing communities Tsuji built in Nepal over 20 years ago. In 1993, Nepal was hit by severe flooding. Within two years, Tsuji built four housing communities for flood survivors. To thank Tsuji, the government erected a commemorative stele at the entrance to each housing community. Over the years, the stele has been covered in cracks, but it still stands tall, bearing witness to a story of love. Tsuji volunteers also invited Nepali doctors to join Tsuji's medical association, held a gathering to share Tsuji's values with local teachers and built temporary housing and classrooms for the locals. I feel very happy. At a prayer service, the volunteers invited everyone to pray together for Nepal. In May, Tsuji turned 49 years old to celebrate Buddha Day, Mother's Day, and Tsuji Day. Tsuji volunteers held Buddha Day ceremonies in 38 countries and regions around the world, including Taiwan, Malaysia, Nepal,
South Africa. Lesotho. Mozambique. Indonesia. And the Philippines. In May, Tsuji Indonesia broke ground for a Tsuji hospital in Jakarta. It will be Tsuji's first hospital overseas, and also Indonesia's first hospital equipped with bone marrow transplant facilities. For years, the volunteers in Indonesia have been promoting the practice of saving a little every day to help the needy. And their efforts have received a warm response from many people. In June, a powder explosion occurred at a water park in New Taipei City, Taiwan. Around 500 people were injured, with over 200 of them suffering severe burns. It was the deadliest accident in Taiwan since the massive earthquake in 1999. Learning of the disaster, Tsuji volunteers rushed to the site to provide aid. The next day, Tsuji volunteers in Taipei had a video conference with Dharma Master Zheng Yan for her advice on their relief work. For over a month, they went to hospitals to bring supplies and meals to the families of the injured and give them emotional support. Tsuji volunteers even helped a farmer harvest his grapes so he could look after his son, who was also injured in the explosion. Tsuji volunteers even bought the grapes and delivered them to hospitals caring for the injured to thank medical personnel for their hard work. Prayer events were held across Taiwan to pray for the injured. Under loving care, many of the injured were able to take their first step on the journey to recovery. After the incident, Tsuji quickly developed new pressure garments that are breathable and feel cool to help reduce burn patients' discomfort. In July, Tsuji volunteers in Malaysia presented a musical adaptation of the Water Repentance text. One year leading up to the presentation, the volunteers gathered regularly to practice together. Everyone sees time to practice. 
、睡觉前、睡醒、厕所、在车上堵车，就是肯定是这个了。In three days, the volunteers staged six presentations. In the Philippines, temporary houses Tsuji built for Typhoon Haiyan survivors in Palo were completed. Sobra sobra, sempre, kasi mayro na ako ng bahay. Tapos dito kami makaka tipon tipon ng mga anak ko. Tsuji also organized vocational training classes for the residents to learn a skill. In July, with the help of Tsuji volunteers. A suspension bridge in Palo, damaged by Typhoon Haiyan, was rebuilt and opened for use. In July, torrential rains led to severe flooding in Myanmar. To carry out relief, Suji volunteers even had to go into the disaster areas by boat. They worked with a temple to prepare hot meals. And also hired the locals to set up makeshift kitchens, cook hot meals, and deliver them to those affected by the flooding. Kule wan le wan le, ko mida zule sa ta wan le, alu bo ari do la lo wan pe man le la mati. Tsuji also gave out rice seeds to affected farmers. Those who'd received Tsuji's aid after Cyclone Nargis in 2008. Also donated their rice seeds to help. A cycle of love has begun in Myanmar, as more and more locals adopt the practice of saving a handful of rice from every meal to help the needy. 代表所有的师生，全线的这个乡亲啊，表达我们对自己的这个最高的感谢之意，谢谢。In 2015, Tsuji signed agreements with the Ministry of Education and several counties in Taiwan to help rebuild schools that are too old and dangerous to use. 为偏远地区的花莲撒下教育爱心的种子。In fact, this is not the first time that Tsuji helped rebuild schools in Taiwan. After a major earthquake hit Taiwan in 1999, Tsuji rebuilt 51 schools damaged by the quake. By 2015, Tsuji has been promoting recycling for 25 years. Over the years, Tsuji volunteers worldwide have spared no effort to protect the environment. Can do, can do. Not to pollute the air. Don't let Taiwan fall. I can't understand. Want to save the Earth? Don't let Taiwan fall. I can't understand. Health is good. You don't have to worry about it. 欢喜的环保站，他那无做哦，就尿尿啊，会想弄个垃圾桶。用太多水就没水，可以 recycle， 米水也可以加花。Suji volunteers collect recyclables day and night, and transport them by bicycle, tricycle, truck, or even gondola and boat. In August, Typhoon Sudalor hit Taiwan, causing severe devastation in a mountain village in northern Taiwan. Tsuji volunteers, young and old alike, immediately gathered together to help clean up the village. As heavy machinery could not fit into the village, Tsuji volunteers went in on foot. They cleaned out the mud one bucket after another, and shoveled out debris from house to house. In three days, over 6,000 volunteers pitched in to help. 
despite being covered in mud and sweat, everyone served willingly with a joyful heart. Massive explosions occurred at a chemicals warehouse in Tianjin, China. Tsuji volunteers quickly gave out emergency cash to workers who had to return to their hometown after they lost their jobs due to the incident. The volunteers also visited residents in the neighborhood to bring them care and comfort. In August, Zheng Dagong from China left for Hualien Tsuji Hospital in Taiwan. Jung suffered from a neurological disorder that caused his muscles to twitch and jerk involuntarily. To say his own name, it took him several seconds. After having a deep brain stimulation electrode implant, he was able to start doing exercises and recovered gradually. Before he was discharged, the medical team celebrated his rebirth and gave him their well wishes. In September, members of Tsuji International Medical Association, or TIMA, from 22 countries and regions gathered in Taiwan for their annual convention. This was the first time that TIMA members from Nepal took part in the convention. We can continue our future work of Tsuji in Nepal. All around the world, TIMA members serve selflessly. The few minutes of our compassion could mean a lifetime alleviation of someone's suffering. In Canada, Tsuji volunteers have often been invited to speak to new immigrants at their citizenship ceremonies. Everything that you have to enrich Canada, bring it here and make Canada even better. In October, a new Tsuji office in Northern California was open for use. With that power, with that strength, we can build anything. In the U.S., volunteers have been carrying out various aid projects, such as giving out tuition aid. I'd just like to thank the organization for giving my sister the scholarship and giving her um, the chance to go to college. Providing food to the homeless. And bringing aid to those affected by disasters. To the Grand Masters, I thank you for allowing Tucci to be established in New Jersey. In Italy, a municipality granted honorary citizenship to Tsuji, the only overseas group to receive the honor. In 2015, Tsuji volunteers went to Bosnia again to bring aid to those affected by flooding in 2014. Due to civil war, millions of Syrians have fled to other countries. In Germany, Tsuji volunteers invited tutors to teach Syrian refugees German. In Jordan, since 2011, Tsuji volunteers have been giving out aid to Syrian refugees and holding free clinics for them. In October, to help the Syrian refugees in Turkey, a team of Tsuji members from Taiwan flew to Istanbul to hold aid distributions for the Syrian people there. Before each distribution, the volunteers carefully packed the supplies and tidied up the venue to show respect for the refugees. Oh, 
At the distributions, the volunteers encouraged every aid recipient to give and share their supplies with those who were not on the list to receive aid. Apart from giving out aid, Saji volunteers in Turkey also worked with local officials and a Syrian professor to set up a school for Syrian children. As the Syrian professor said, there is a house that can hold millions or even billions of people. That house is called love. In Australia, Saji regularly gives out aid to the needy. In Malaysia, Saji works with the UN to provide refugees with free medical services. In Thailand, Saji holds a free clinic for refugees once every month. Before each clinic, the volunteers will arrange shuttle bus services to bring the refugees to the clinic. This is wonderful. Um, looks like it's functioning very well. The clinic is also supported by dozens of interpreters speaking nine different languages. Buddhist Foundation, but yeah, this organization is not promoting any religion. Taiwan helping to us is very good and thank you. Naresh One University of Thailand is honored to award Venerable Dhamma Master Cheng Yen. Yes, <laughs> Girl.